the previous years that we've had, we didn't have this opportunity. We were actually weren't allowed. We we're actually limited to what you would say to someone on a regular basis. But this program has helped us to kind of like boost our confidence. I really, really hope that this program helps me to write fuller and more meaningful paragraphs and articles because I really think that there's a lot of matters like feminism and racism and homophobia that I think a lot of older people need to understand that young people care about too. Being able to write it freely and I'm not really like, it's not really about the publishing, it's just about like the wanting to have it out there so people can read it just for like the sake of reading it. It not only allows you to write what you think but allows you to understand what others think more because you know where they're coming from, how they're writing it and understanding not just what they've written but how they've written it and their thought process behind it. By using a method called Peel and it's really helped us um, writing paragraphs and wording and our ideas like properly for um, reflection. With regards to creative writing, I've been able to um, approach it in a more straightforward way without um, having to hold back. I feel Mustafa has allowed us to um, tackle it straight away without being um, hesitant in what we say. Well, it's given me a new opportunity to seek other methods to express my opinions rather than keeping it to myself. So instead of reading a news article and formulating an opinion on it, I sent it to friends. I just wasn't as confident, I guess, as I was before I did this program. A lot of people feel pressure to make the first try right and this sort of just let you blow and go and write what you thought without having to think about whether it was perfect and I really liked that. Because I couldn't write essays and now that I know how to write an essay and we keep doing it and I've got more information I think that helped a lot. With this subject writing out I believe that I'll be able to I guess view the world in a different perspective, um, stand up for what I believe is right and don't let other people knock me down because I have a voice and my voice can be heard. And what I'm mainly passionate about is um, how we are limited of what we say. I guess one of the most engaging bits is understanding the media and how that plays a role in our society in terms of they have might have biased opinions and there's always two sides to every story. When somebody says something, it's always cut off and it's only one side of the story that's been shown, which isn't right. I'm writing about serial killers, but it's not just them, it's like their ways of thinking and why they would think of doing such a thing as taking another person's life. Domestic violence for me is just like a personal topic and for me like they sort of don't have a choice to like go out and seek help. Well, I'm willing to make it very personal and more typical so I could affect other people and change their minds having the right to go and tell somebody about it and not feel scared that it's going to happen again. Speak out. Don't be shy of what you believe and what you think is right. Talk about something that they're really passionate about, whether it's personal or... If you, if you have a goal, try to do everything you can to accomplish it. Because nothing grows in the shade, so you need some light. And I found mine. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you know you've done your best, you will be happy with yourself. And at the end of the day, being happiness is one of the most important things in our world. But I think it's a really good thing, and being confident about it, and sharing your opinions, and sharing your love for writing about them is really good. And I think that you shouldn't be nervous about having to do that. But now things are changing because we're educated and we care more. I think. Well, I care more.